everybody. I am going to be showing you some palettes that I have been loving for the month of March. So to start with, we've got the Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick in the shade Tweed. I love this little packaging. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at it, how dainty. And there's the plastic thing, I'll take that off. I always keep them in there. This has got a slight shimmer in it and I thought it doesn't transfer to the eyes. It does have a little shimmer in it, but you can't really see it very well unless you've got a light shining on you. And the shimmers are beautiful. They're very small shimmers. They're not chunky. So, I mean, you can hardly, you can't even see them here. This is all matte. And what I did was I put this one in the crease and on the lower lash line and then I put this one across the lid and I thought oh this is going to be loud but I really do like reds on my eyes and then I used this a combination of these two to smoke it out I don't usually use all mattes on my eyes and I was pleasantly surprised at how nice it looks and it didn't feel drying or anything like that it was very nice I say nice a lot in these videos don't I? I wish I wouldn't say that all the time right next up it's good old Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And I'm going to put a piece of card over the mirror so I don't blind you. I used this a couple of times this month and I like this gold. There's like a warm quad here. So if you do want a warm look, you've got that there to choose from. But uh, one I love is this lovely pink. It's, it is cool tone, but I think it's got a little bit of warmth to it. And I really like that one on me. And you can stay cool toned with this one next to it on the outer corner or just go with a warmer one, which I think is what I did. I think I did that and that on the outer crease. And this one was in the crease. And then you've got these lovely ones for the inner corner. Can't remember which one I used. Might have been that one. Can't remember. But it was really nice. And I love this grey because it's not too cool toned on me. I'd say this is neutral to cool toned with a little tiny bit of warmth. So there's something for everyone in there and you can do whatever suits your mood. And what I like to do is use either a warm tone across the lid and then a cool tone on the outer V or a vice versa, you know, the other way around. So that's how I get away with it because I don't think I can do just cool tones. <laughs> if I go all cool toned this is a lovely neutral palette so yeah you can use that for any occasion very good one I know it's a very popular one this is so there's that one and then what have I got next mm, this one was a lovely present this is the NARS Climax palette and I really like these shades and I have never had NARS before my my husband bought this for me as a present at Christmas. He got it during the year, though, because um, I think he saw it at Selfridges. This wasn't available anywhere when I was looking. They, I think they do like a certain amount and then they don't keep doing them like, you know, like other brands like Natasha Denona. You can get them for ages until they stop doing them. But this one couldn't get it anywhere. And I was really sad about it because uh, I just really like these khaki greens and the burgundy and this lovely blue grey. And I did a look with that and it looked really good. So I really enjoyed this palette. I think I did this right across the lid. This was the uh, transition. That to blend out anything around the edges that you want to get rid of. And maybe an inner corner highlight if you like a matte inner corner highlight. And that on the outer V and it was absolutely stunning. I really enjoyed that look. So, and then I did a couple of other looks. I did one with this, this one here. And I think I put a green with that one. So that across the lid and the green on the outer V. So beautiful. And I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. I hardly ever see NARS do these colour schemes. They usually only ever do golds and pinky golds and bronzes and things like that. You don't see these cool tones much, you know? These khaki greens and the grey, grey blues. I don't see them that much whenever I look at their palettes online and I just think, oh, that's boring. I've got a ton of palettes like that, but this one I don't. And it was the first time I'd ever used NARS and I was really pleased with the outcome of the looks. It's a drier formula 
some brands you can feel like a creaminess when you touch the pans but these they don't feel like that they're not creamy they're drier but they have an absolute beautiful look on the eyes the shimmers are not too large but they do shimmer not a quiet shimmer they've got a beautiful sophisticated looking shimmer if you ask me so yeah very nice one glad to have that one next i've got the nabla cutie palette in wild berry sometimes i always call it the berries palette but it's wild berry and let's see what that one looks like they did a lot of these cutie palettes but this is the only one i've got of the cuties and the reason i bought it was i was obsessed with this and i saw someone else on youtube doing a look with it and they had it all here and then something else on the outer crease but it's beautiful that shade i love it but the only thing i'll say about nabla i've noticed when i'm taking it off my eyes with the micellar water i can feel a grittiness so i'll just say say that you can feel they're more gritty when you're taking them off but still beautiful so i would still buy them even though they feel gritty but that's just something i wanted to say in case that would bother you and this is one of those um what do they call them latex shade it reminds me of the natasha denona cream to powder mattes it's like that it feels a bit creamy and i like to use that one as a neutral blush as well like a couple of these shades i mean if you were darker even darker skinned or you don't mind a really loud blush that would be a beautiful blush but um i love using this one as a blush and sometimes that one as well and the pans are big enough that you can get a good sized uh blush brush in there i was just reaching for a blush brush but you can get that in there without touching any of the others you can just give it a dab and it'll be on there i'll show you try to do it without <laughs> i'll have to look at it here it comes see that's on there and you i didn't get it in any of the other shades that's one of the things i really like when you get these big pans or spaces between them that you can get your blush brush in there it's multi-use then isn't it the look that i did i did this one across the lid that in the inner corner this in the crease and then i might have mixed these two or or the i don't know i might put that round the lower lash line so it made a beautiful look and i got this real dirt cheap as well because it was on offer i got it at beauty bay for 12 pound 50 they're usually like 25 or more you can get this where did i see it i think it was makeup uk so you can still get this if you're quick and that one was a bargain and i love the little pretty pictures you know all the berries on there and then i got a charlotte tilbury this is the pillow talk instant eye palette and this one's a beautiful one if you want mattes and shimmers that blend easily this is i'm going to hold it upside down and put the card on it so that you can see it but these blend like a dream these are so easy to use i'm so it's like shocking when you you know when you're used to using all kinds of different you're like oh these are so easy they blend themselves but um one thing i will say about it sorry if i'm blinding you with oh there you go i'll try not to tilt it up towards that ring light these are a little bit drying on my eyes i noticed my eyes start feeling a bit sore after a while so i couldn't use these um i shouldn't say st sore stingy i don't know there's it's not so bad that i want to take them off but i wouldn't use this palette every day because i had that problem before with bare minerals you know their pressed eye shadows i didn't notice it with their loose ones i don't know if i did i ever use their loose ones but um i found them drying as well and i ended up getting rid of all of them but I'm not going to get rid of these. I, I think I jumped the gun with the bare minerals. I could still use them, but just not use them every day because then I would end up with really dry eyes and dry skin and it would be all sore because I had that problem with the bare minerals because I was using mainly them and I've got rid of them all, but I wish I hadn't now because they're really good eyeshadows and they last on the eyes all day. Really good eyeshadows, those pressed ones. These are beautiful and they've got a sophisticated shimmer it's more like a shimmer not a sparkle there's not huge um particles of um, glitter in here or anything they're smooth smooth as anything and the shimmer is beautiful and they sit on the eye beautifully 
and they look better and better throughout the day and they're just beautiful to blend wonderful eyeshadows and I think I did a look with this one was across the lid this in the inner corner this was in the um in the crease and then this one on the outer corner is what I did and it just looked stunning and I would recommend these as well definitely I've got two other palettes of these I bought the instant ones the instant ones are the longer ones I heard that the quads are not as good quality but I wouldn't know because I've never bought the quads just for that reason I think and because uh, also because these are better value for money and what have I got next I've got a right old pile here I've got another Nabla Nabla Dreamy 2 let's see I'll just put my card on the mirror and what I've been doing this month with this one you can see these beautiful shimmers in here they don't feel creamy to me they're dry like the NARS um, but these mats these two at the bottom are the latex mats and then these are the normal uh, just the normal powder mats is that a mat yeah it is a mat yeah so but these are lovely lovely and creamy just like the Natasha Denona ones they're really impactful as well I used them as a liner you could use them as a base I think they're fabulous and I would buy this again but you've got to be quick if you want to get that I saw this one at Makeup UK actually so if you want to get any of these Nabla ones go over there and grab it because I don't know where else you'll get them unless you go straight to the Nabla site I don't know what's on there because I didn't look they're not at Beauty Bay anymore so these are beautiful what did I do I did a look with this one on the lid and this one on the lid and that one on the lid and you know why I was going for all them purples because I'm trying to use this thing up this Clinique chubby stick trying to use that up sorry if it's getting really dark in here isn't it because the weather's so changeable out there today it's been raining on all my washing Ugh, I had to go out there and grab it real quick and bring it in here so I'm sorry if it's getting a bit dark but I had to show you these shadows because I couldn't get in here and it keeps changing outside one minute the sun's out one minute's in i don't know and the rain's lashing down so i just had to grab the opportunity and do it when i could and now the weather's changed oh anyway uh, yeah i've been trying to use this up so i've been using this as a base underneath all of these and i've got it on today under another eyeshadow that i'll talk about and i've also got it on my lips this chubby stick and I've got um, this lipstick on top because this is sheer. This is a MAC one that came out of Christmas and it's sheer as anything, but it's got nice slip and nice particles in it of shimmer. So it looked really nice on top of the, uh, I thought I'm going to stick it everywhere because I really want to use it up. So I've been using it on my lips and oh, chucking it about. I've been using it on my lips and on my eyes as bases. So it's really good. But I need to use it up because it's starting to dry out. So that's what I've done this month. With I've been using all these blue shades. And it was some beautiful looks out of that one. And here's what it looks like. Oh, I just love the packaging because it shimmers. don't know if you can see that. It changes when the light catches it. And I just love all this nighttime stuff with the moons and the stars. And Oh, beautiful packaging. I think I fell for the packaging a bit when I bought this, but I wasn't disappointed with what's inside anyway. So, right, next I've got, this is the one I've got on my eyes today. This is the Linda Halberg. I don't know if that's how you say it. They say LH Cosmetics, don't they now? They don't bother saying Linda Halberg. Yeah, so it's LH Cosmetics Shimmer Saga. And I just got this one recently. It does have a mirror. Oh, look, it's dazzling you anyway. I've got to get back, get back. So shiny. These are lovely. These have got a duochrome look to them. They're beautiful. I've got swatches on another video. If you go looking in my videos, you'll find it. Um, but I used this one today on my eye on top of this. And then I used this one in the... This one's called Love, isn't it? Yeah, I used Love across the lid and Success on the inner corner. These are really good and I got this one on offer. I got 20% off that one. It's usually 40 and I got that for 32 and you can get that over at Beauty Bay. I think that is still there and they are stunning, absolutely stunning. And they're a drier formula as well, just in case you wanted to know. And they have got a lot of shimmer in them and they got a beautiful flip. 
I don't know if you, you can see it when I do it back and forth, look. Lovely. So that is another, another, another packaging thing for me. I just love a little tree. <laughs> don't ask why. I, I do love trees. I think they're beautiful. And it's all magical. It's got all little, little orbs about, flying about. Oh, it's just lovely. Really like that packaging. And that I think that was one of the reasons I bought it, because I just wanted the tree. <laughs> Silly and I. Right, one more left. Another Natasha Denona. I made sure I didn't put them too close together. This one, I've used this a lot. These are not as blingy as the newer palettes, but they do have, some of them are beautiful duochromes. Look, you can see how they flip. This is a really good favourite one of mine and that one. Look how pretty that is. Dragon Bite, that one's called. I even remember the name because I just love it. And I love this hot pink. And the reason I like using that is because you know how sometimes you think, oh no, don't, don't use that hot pink, but it's not too in your face. It's a quieter, it's got a quiet shimmer to it. A lot of the, this is quite quiet as well, if you want to call it that. I think this one's got a bit of a flip. It goes like a reddy, red to purple. Beautiful palette, absolutely stunning. And Helio is one of my favourite shades that she does. This is also in the retro as well. Absolutely beautiful shade. It's like a, it's a, like a bronze, but it's got a bit of a rosy hue to it. Really nice rosy hue that's got. And of course, I was using the old Clinique underneath, and I churned out some beautiful looks, especially with that pink on top of this. Wow, it was really good. I think that's a, a look that I done. I did the Clinique as the eye base, and then that on the lid all the way across. This is a bit red toned. You know, it's just a bright pink i think i put the ready brown on the outer corner yeah and then this one in the crease i think it was that one yeah yeah that one was in the crease and a bit of the pink underneath i think and it was absolutely stunning and there's so many looks i've done out of this palette i don't run out of looks it's just great love it and that was all my palettes for the month of march thank you for watching i'm so glad to have you here with me and I'll see you again next month and show you some more palettes I've been using. Bye. Do you know what I need to get? Let me get it. Cut this bit out. Here it is. Uh, what is it called? They always do these, these things. I can't remember which one it is. Look at orgasm palette. So I don't know if that's, if they're just doing something behind the scenes and they're going to come out with another palette or something. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh. Oh, shit, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Or is it still blinding you from that ring light?